The enormous success of the Downton Abbey series and movie has led to a renewed interest in the art of afternoon tea. That's the title of a book written by Penelope or Penny Carlovato, known as the Ambassador of Tea. Well, we're making time for tea time in tonight's Positively Tennessee. Penny, welcome to Greystone. Thank you, Laura. It's a pleasure to be here. It's the perfect place to have tea. And there are three different types of tea. Tell us. There are. There's three um, types that you would serve to your friends. One would be a cream tea, where it's just tea and scones with jam and cream. The second kind is the English afternoon tea. And the third is high tea, which gets confused with the English afternoon tea. You explained that to me earlier because I got it confused. High tea is actually supper for yes, some Yes, it is. For the working class in England, it was supper because it was served at a high table where the elite or the aristocrats would have the nice afternoon tea, which is what we would like to have English. Um, we'd have scones. We would have sandwiches and we'd have little sweets and desserts that would be served with the wonderful cup and pot of tea. What interested you in this? Well, I was born in England and my mother was English. We came to the United States and lived on a farm in South Dakota. And my mother had a little English house on the plains of South Dakota and she served tea to anyone who came. So it just was a way of life, really. And now everybody is so interested in it again because of Downton Abbey, yeah. and of course the Titanic. People are enthralled with that era. They are, and um, this new movie that was just out has really proved that. It's been one of the biggest blockbusters. So that's exciting for me because that means maybe this wonderful tradition that I grew up with can live on. That would be wonderful. You do some work with the Titanic here. I do. I do book signings and sometimes some talks. Um, I'll be there this weekend on Sunday and Monday. So I'll be signing books, autographing them personally to people. Speaking of books, yes, this is one of your books. Yes, it is. It's and it my talks about book. the art of afternoon tea. Yes. All right. Everything's in it that you know to have a tea party. Love it. So much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lori. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Oh. And it, it is truly an art. There's a lot to learn and a lot yes. of misconceptions that we all have. A lot of misconceptions. Uh, Penny said, don't ever lift your finger. Oh, I thought when the pinky listening. had to be up. No, she said, please don't do that. And I thought, okay, good to know. She mentioned high tea, mm -hmm. which is really not high society tea. It's for the working class uh, dinner time. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I really learned a lot. And Penny mentioned she'll be at the Titanic Museum on Sunday and Monday. On Saturday, though, tomorrow, you'll have a chance to hear her speak about tea and about faith, along with other authors, recording artist and actress and model of fashion show, all kinds of things for women at the Glimmers of Hope Women's Conference. Again, it's tomorrow mm -hmm. at North Knoxville Baptist Church from 9 until 3. A uh, lot of fun and faith, like I mentioned. Yeah, I have more information, day. yeah, about that on our website, wate.com. Just look for Positively Tennessee on the As Seen on tab.